So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 20. Today is September 29th, 2022. So the topic this evening is really about paradigm shift or shifting dimensions. So before I start the recording, we were just chatting about, you know, what's the energies that's been going on. So, um, so I'm going to start to share what I have for this evening. It's really a, um, I think since the middle of September, I've been feeling the energy is really very, very different in September, especially starting from the middle of September onwards. It was like <laughs> absolutely different. And I, 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 I couldn't really quite put my finger on it yet until I, I would say um, maybe the last couple of evenings, I finally got it. And so that's why I really want to share with all of you what's, what's been going on, what, what I've been experiencing. And, um, and hopefully that may be something that is going to assist all of you um, because um, we're all going on this journey. I'm, 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 I'm maybe a little bit more sensitive than others. However, I am pretty sure that um, all of you will have some version of that because everyone, um, these energies are for everyone. Not, I'm not special, it's for everyone. But everybody is at different, um, different cycles of their of, of their consciousness um, so you may have similar experience you may have some, something that is completely different from what I'm experiencing uh, however I am simply sharing what I've been experiencing for September and um, and what I think it may be so um, <clears throat> And I'm not going to mute anybody out. So it's if you are making loud noises, please mute yourself. And if you want to ask questions or give comments, please feel free to do so. Because it's like this, I, I'm sharing this. Um, it's This is not a lecture. This is just a sharing. And then, um, so I'm going to share my experiences. And then after that, what I want to do is I really... Um, want for each of you to have to to deepen and and open the possibilities for all these energies to bring miracles into your life because um, miracles are absolutely possible now i i truly believe that anything can happen now we're not even limited at all the the energy has been so supportive that miracles are absolutely possible if you allow it to be so so since the so my sharing is that since the middle of september of this it's just it's just been maybe two three weeks that i um i remember i every night because usually stuff happens to me um, right before I go to bed. So it's it's like since the middle of September, like every night when I go to bed, just before I go to bed, I would just feel um, it's like there's this big column of energy that <clears throat> that's kind of going through me from the top of my head all the way to the bottom of my feet. I can just feel myself being in this, this column of strong energy that is just bombarding me with energy. And I simply feel um, energized. I think, I think that's the, the, the best word to it. Um, sometimes I would feel um, happy, like a, a sense of wellness. Sometimes it would just be I would just feel neutral and peaceful, but but all the time it's like every night, not just once a week or once every other night, but like every night when I go to bed, it's like I I feel like I'm sleeping in this 
chamber that has energy that is flowing through me from head to toe. And so um, after a couple of days of that, I, 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 like all of a sudden, I think maybe around the 17th of September, I really feel like peace, not just my peace, not just peace within, it's like everything is, is peace, peaceful. There, even um, when, you know, you know, you all know that, you know, <laughs> there's the, the, the not wall going on in Ukraine. And so a lot of these craziness that's happening happening um, in the world right now. However, just before I go to bed, when I'm in this, this energy tunnel, it's like, I feel peace. It's, it's like nothing matters any, anymore. Just completely at peace at one. And I simply feel that nothing can possibly go wrong. And, and I think after, <clears throat> after about a, a week of being um, in this energy tunnel every night, that it actually started to carry on to the day as well. So it's not just right before I go to bed when I feel this peace and, and calm and all this even during the day, it's like, oh my gosh, um, doesn't matter whether it is, um, whether I have pain in my body or not, does not matter whether the sun is shining or not, doesn't matter if um, somebody is mad at me or not, or whether I enjoy my food or enjoy my day or not, it's I just have this peace that is just endless peace so I think um and then went for uh, Sifu James class on Saturday which of course he's always fun <laughs> he's always fun to to spend time with um I I love him so much and um and then I think on Sunday Sunday night yes Sunday night I have this this experience which um, I don't I don't really have words to describe it, but yes, I do feel the the peace and the energy that's going through me. But on top of that, I just feel this sense of joy. It's like whoa, um, it's as if I were a baby. And all I know is simply love and simply joy. And that's how I felt all night long. I was just in this cocoon of joy, light, love. Like even talking about it now just, just makes me relive that. And I wish for everyone to be able to feel that. And I think on in that in that moment when I feel that I finally got something. I finally got what all this wave and wave of energy is trying to show me, is trying to show me is, is that um, it's actually showing me what, how disconnected I have been um, for, for the longest time. I really, it's very hard for me to feel joy, like, I feel peace most of the time, but being able to feel joy, eh, no, not, it's, it's like, I have to actually watch, um, like, like a comedy show or watch something funny to really be able to connect with the joy. And so this, this whole evening of connecting with me, um, with this joy is I finally got how disconnected I have been with joy light love for such a long time like I I didn't even realize how disconnected I was until I actually um, was able to feel what it feels like to be connected with that joy light love and once I have that 
bodily experience of what being connected to joy, light, love actually feels like. And then it's like, um, I finally got it. I was absolutely disconnected. My heart was so closed down. And it's, and I, I really got that I resisted this, this world so much. And um, I, I, I could have, like, I, I justified a lot. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I, I, um, I meditate and I do all these energy work. Um, but compared with the real thing, all of that, even in my most deepest meditation, I was still disconnected because I didn't even know how, how, how being connected to joy like love actually felt like until I actually had that experience. And um, after I had that experience, I, it's, it's like, I know I have to shift so many things in my life now. And I know what it is that I needed to do now. And I still have to do it, but I, I like, I, I know that now, now it's the, it's the, um, it's the test is now that I've had all these experience of what is possible, because I didn't know what was possible. I didn't know what actually being in joy like love was, was like, I was just faking it well faking it is not I was just doing my best but um, doing my best versus what it actually feels like oh my gosh now I felt it I had that I have that in my in my body experience now it's like whoa now I know what I need to let go of what I need to stop doing and what I need to start doing in order to um, I wouldn't say uh, to chase after that that feeling because it's not something that that I need to chase after. It's actually it is what I realized was I was not visited by an entity that like high vibrational entities. No, um, not really. Because in that moment, I realized that I, what I felt was actually who I truly am. I truly am this, I don't know even who, who that was, but that person, that, that version of me, um, for that version of me, that level of joy, light, love is normal. That was me, because I recognize it. That was me. It's not someone else. It's not some high vibrational alien come visiting me and trying to guide me no it was me letting me know what I truly am so that was like like just just um so that was just a paradigm shift for me so that was that is really what's awaiting each and every one of us when we shift into the fifth dimension, because the fifth dimension is when we feel oneness, when we start to remember who we truly are. And like for that, um, Sunday night before I go to bed, I had that experience of who I am, the, the bigger part of me, the, that bigger part of me, who I am. And that's how that's what I actually feel like, like versus what I feel like now. I'm not feeling bad right now, but, you know, versus that is like, it's like, <laughs> it's night and day. It's not even night and day. There's just, it's, there's just um, such a big difference. So that's, that's what I want to share. Um, thinking of ecstasy pillows. <laughs> yeah i and i didn't take any drugs i was not <laughs> no i'm saying this thing <laughs> you know it was know. even joy joyful to to listen to your experience yeah, yeah. wow it's, it's like yeah. it make me smile to listen all that and you know mm -hmm. i'm so happy for you Vinny. 
and uh, at the same time, I'm so jealous seeing <laughs> I want to I want to experience it also. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> I I wish yeah. for everyone to be able to feel that because once yeah. you have mm -hmm. felt that, you would know to to drop so many things because all the 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 fear, all the the blame, all the shame, it's like. I don't even want to go there anymore because that's the um, that's the part of like that's that's not really who I am. That's what that's the the that's what I'm resisting. So so I actually want to um, so the resisting. So so I I feel the cl I can sense the close off because that's who I. I am that level of joy, light, love. And then I come to this world and this world is not very conducive to joy, light, love. And so it was, I have been resisting that so much and this, this world so much. And all of a sudden I got it and that like everyone, not just me, but everyone is similar. Maybe not exactly the same, but everyone everyone's true self is like that joy light love we are this big magnificent <clears throat> um god and goddesses we those that's who we truly are and then we come here and play this game and we choose to play this game and some of us are ready to shift out of this game and play a very different game and some are not ready yet. So that's, so that's really what I, um, so one of the things that I really um, needed to do is to let go of all that judgment because I have a lot of judgments. <laughs> I have a lot of judgments. I may, not, I may not say it out loud. However, I can feel it and I notice it even though I understand that, you know, everyone has their own, um, their own uh, experience and their their own point of view however I can still judge <laughs> but it's like now I don't even want to judge anymore because I understand that everyone is like that this like that's who we truly are that level of joy light love and then we come and play this game and some people um they they are addicted to that drama. And it's, who am I to say? <clears throat> Would you say that uh, everything in your environment changed too when you felt that way? Sort of like an awakening? Like... Um, I, well, I still live here. And um... no, but when you look at things, do they look like, just happy feeling all the time when you look at everything? It feels very different. It feels very different. It's like I, I all of a sudden fear just dropped. It's like like it used to be when I when I sleep in the middle of the night, if I hear some noise, I would, you know, I would stay up for maybe half an hour just just to, because I'm worried about oh, oh is it this, is it that, all that. Now it's like when there's a noise, I don't even worry about it. It's not even in my, it's not even, uh, it's not going to happen. It's total calmness, like peace. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just yeah. like, yeah. The, bliss, the, bliss, like you're in bliss all the time. So I've heard that everyone got that level in their own time. But since you share it and it's so, so Beautiful. How to get it faster? <laughs> um, how to get it faster? Yes. That is an interesting question. <laughs> um, what I, what I, what um, assisted me to shift, I think, is actually two things acceptance like two two major things is acceptance just understand that um 
in this world, there's nothing wrong with this world at all. And if there actually is nothing wrong with this world, like there's still a not war going on in Ukraine. <laughs> and then there may be a, um, <clears throat> there may be a nuclear war. But even if nuclear war actually happened, I would still have no fear because I know that some people, like nuclear war may happen if some people or if enough people actually want to have that experience because I live in this, this world and there is another six, seven billion other people also living in and we don't all want the same thing. However, we can each experience the reality that we choose to experience. And that is like we each have that choice. You may say, well, who would want to choose to, to experience nuclear war? <laughs> you, may be, you may be surprised that some people that live in so much fear that their fear, the, um, they put so much energy on their fear that they actually make it happen. And that's why the, um, you know, that's why there is so much emphasis on war, fear, all that. Why? Because if we put enough attention to those things, they may actualize. That's how powerful each and every one of us are. If enough people focus on the fear, then they may actually um, actualize that fear. And that is really one of the, that's why acceptance is so important. Because once you realize how powerful each and every one is, and that what you focus on, you would make happen. And when you focus on fear, and then whatever it is that you fear, you're going to bring it in your reality. So that's, that's why it's so important to, um, to have acceptance. Because when you judge something, when you have an opinion about something, it actually keeps it in your reality. Is when you accept and when you don't give something energy if you don't give whatever it is that you have an opinion on if you just let go of that opinion and and simply accept that for some people that is what they want to pay attention to and really focus on um, like notice what it is that you put your focus on put your energy on are you focusing on fear or are you focusing on actually what you want so this so this consciousness and awareness is so important that's why this weekend the uh, uh yeah last weekend the the workshop it was on awareness is we don't always we're not always aware of what you're freezing now and then Vinny. Vinny, you're freezing all the time oh okay uh, in and out, in and out. Yeah. Okay. So the the um, the internet is not very stable. <laughs> I should stop talking about certain yeah. things. <laughs> no, you were saying about the weekend awareness. Yeah, the weekend workshop um, with um, Super James was on awareness. So being aware of what. Um, what's actually in your environment is, is actually very um, important. Because when you, when you focus on something, notice what that focus is doing to your body. When you focus on something that you um, don't like, just feel it in your body. How does that make your body feel? And when you, when you become more aware, then you actually become the, the master of your own focus. Then you would be able to, 
tune your focus in such a way that you focus on only the things that you want to experience, that you enjoy experiencing. So if I understood you right, so we have to consciously check what do I have around. So if I'm going to um, concentrate, if I'm going to study how to concentrate on things, I can send my concentration to the stuff I need? Um, no, that's not what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing is be aware of <clears throat> what your body is feeling. <clears throat> Because your body um, has an awareness that's very different from your, your mind's awareness. Your body is actually um, much more in tune with the environment than your mind is. So when you only, um, and for example, somebody is sitting next to you. If all of a sudden your body feels um, anxious, then that's a message giving, that's a message that there's something around your environment that's making you feel this anxiety. And so when you are aware of how your body is, then you um, can become, a, then, then you would be able to take that into consideration. Okay. Yeah, but then what action? You would try to move away then, yeah, from that person? Or would you just try to change your thinking about that? It depends. So it could be it could be a lot of things. How your body reacts actually tells you the underlying assumption that you have about that. Um, let's say the person that's next to you for example if that person next to you is hmm, it could be a stranger. yeah it could be a stranger and you sometimes get the feeling that they're not good people like um i okay so this so this i i i, I remember this um this one time i I think I've, I've shared this as I met somebody. Um, this is a long time ago, at least 20, 30 years ago. I, I met somebody in church and um, and he, he's a young guy, really enthusiastic and nice person, everything. But when I met him, the, the first thing that that came to me is fear. And I don't know why, because he's a nice person, really enthusiastic, have no idea why. And, and um, so he got into an accident, like really bad accident and died. So that was, so I somehow I picked up that. Wow. So, I don't know why, but I picked that up. And I, I also remember there, there are times when I meet someone um, and all of a sudden I feel this fear. I don't know why, I have no idea. And I can't really ask them because um, I, I, I just was, I was a little shy, but also like even for, like for, for the guy uh, who, who passed away because um, he ha had an accident he wouldn't know that he he does not know that that's in his future he has no mm -hmm. idea and and even if I asked him and talked to him I wouldn't know why because I actually like I sense something that is um is just cannot be explained so so I'm I'm not saying that you will be able to to sense something like that however it's it's really about checking our awareness as well because we are all um magical beings and we especially our body 
actually picks up things that we cannot consciously uh, pick up. So I, between, between my conscious mind and my body, I would trust my body. Because there's even um, like, usually when entities come to me, they talk to me. I don't know whether they are saying um, what they are saying is true or not. I don't know. However, I do know that if my body feel um, happy and relaxed, then I know I can trust that whatever information that I I got. However, if I feel anxious, then I I would be more. Um, you know, I, yeah, I wouldn't count on that information too much. So that's one of the things that I, I do trust my body. So this is really about um, not just be aware of your thoughts, but be aware of how your body is, the, the clues that your body is giving you as well, because your body has, a, an intelligence so it's time we partner with that intelligence can i ask you a question mm -hmm. the other day i did my meditation silent meditation myself and i smell some smell like it was like smoke something uh and nothing was around that can give me this smell. So I know it was some entity around, but I don't know who was it. I guess it's it's my father around, but I'm not sure. And I don't know how to how to find out. I asking, I raising hand for Cornelius hundreds of times, but he never picked pick up my question. So I don't know who is it. I want to ask who is it. Um. Okay, I don't know who that is. Also, do you know if it's my father? Hmm. Okay. So um, that's your father's smoke? No, no. But it's that smoke, it's like from, from smoke, like from food, from something, from food. And my dad, he used to cook so delicious, um, you know, clove and all kind of food. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, um, so the next time you feel you smell that that smoke. Um, ask yourself, what are you feeling? Really ask yourself, what are you feeling? And um, I don't think it's your father. However, I am not the authority on that. So you have to ask yourself, because you are the authority on that. So ask yourself what, what you, you are thinking. Just remind yourself to ask yourself, next time you smell that, what are you thinking? Are you thinking of anything that is related to your dad? Or are you thinking of anything that reminds you of your dad? Okay, thank you. Yeah. That would be probably be the, the the best that I can I can guide you to get your own answers. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments? Winnie, going back to that uh, boy uh, 
who you met. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't that have been his choice to die that way? Yes. And maybe that, that's what you were picking up from his unconscious or conscious. Yeah, that would be his choice, of course. Mm -hmm. So it was somewhere in his body, like in his some one of his consciousness. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. yeah. Yes. Can I ask you one more question? Mm -hmm. Sure. So earlier, um, when I when I hear some noises uh, and I, I understood that it might be some entities, I was like, I was ask them, do not do not scare me. So and they listen, nobody scare me since, but I see, I smell it, but now um, from I want to know who is it, but I don't want to give them permission to show up because I afraid, I still afraid to, to look at them. And I don't know who is that. <laughs> so what, can you give me some advice? Yeah, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> get over what? My fear? Oh, fear, yes. I, 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 it's something that um, most, most teachers don't talk about, but I'm going to talk about it is, um, remember, we are we actually in fourth dimension now. And um, remember, fourth dimension is, is where um, discarnate ghosts are and also where aliens are. So we actually in that space of energy where um, the veil is very thin now. So ghosts are going to be able to, you know, come in and out much easier because the energy right now, we are actually getting, um, we are moving through it. We're moving through it and, and there will come a time when we actually uh, we would actually go to fifth dimension and but we actually moving through that so we actually moving through a um an energy band where it's so much easier for ghosts to interact with us if you're afraid of ghosts then um you have a problem <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be very um, blunt with you. Uh, it's that, and, and the only thing is, a ghost cannot harm you in any shape or way. They are in a very different. Um, they they don't have a body. You have a body. They can scare you. They can um, make you like when they scare you, if they scare you enough, you may harm yourself, you know, do some harm to yourself by, ac by accident. But other than that, they can't harm you. They just can't. Because they don't have, they have no form, no body, no form. So if you're scared of thin air, then you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be blunt. If you're afraid of something that has no body, then you, yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> you said that in some entity, like not friendly, right? Like there are not for lot, our good. There are a lot of human beings that are not friendly. <laughs> right. exactly. I mean, they don't want to bring good any good to us. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are many people like that around us. <laughs> so don't play with them. <laughs> it's like you you see you see somebody that is not friendly and they don't wish you well, then don't talk to them. Don't play with them. No, I mean, um, what is entity gonna talk to you and you're gonna think that it's true, but it's it's gonna be for for bad for bad things, not for good. How do you know if if 
they want you good or bad. So two weeks ago, so two podcasts ago, we talked about how to know real truth. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, do do those, do those. Okay. Actually, I asking, I I do that, and I asking real truth, my questions, yes or no. Thank you. So you yeah, so you just have to um, trust it trust it and also no one thing is um you may not be right a hundred percent of the time so let it be okay that you're not right a hundred percent of the time because that's part of being human a human being is not right a hundred percent of the time there will be times when you are right and there will be times when you're wrong and the so all of this getting to know the real truth and you know paying attention to your own body some intelligence is to increase the probability and possibilities for you to um, be right more of the times So when you start to um, let go of the fear, when you start to let go of all the other emotions that are dragging us down, then the, like the, the bad ghosts, they can't really do much to you. And they're not interested in you because you don't play their game. You're not fun. You're not scared anymore. So, you know, if if somebody, if you if you talk to someone and they don't answer you back, sooner or later you're gonna lose interest in them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's however, you know, if you know you they if you play the the scary game with them, they would like to play with you because hey, this one. <laughs> this one likes to play this one is is uh it's 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 fun to play with so <laughs> thank you okay them a playmate. <laughs> yeah so just don't be a playmate and and also when you when you choose joy light love when you choose peace more often than not um you you're not fun for for those negative entities anymore the negative entities they like to choose people that are either angry or in fear they like those because that's that's their playground but if you are in joy like love in in peaceful they want to stay away from you because uh, really? uh, so in 5d they wouldn't be there this kind of thing won't happen okay. when we are fully solidly in 5d um not i wouldn't say that they mm. most of the time they won't be there I thought because it's only because we are in the in between. Now I understood what you mean by the veil. So that's the gap between four and five D that we are moving back and forth through. Yeah. Depending on our vibrations. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I understood. When you, now. When you get to um, fifth dimension, um, does that mean that you know nothing bad can happen to you? No. I no. don't mean no. There may still be bad things happening to you. However, when you are in that vibration, you don't see it as bad mm. anymore. It's just, you know, stuff happening. Acceptable. It's yeah. okay. And it's okay. And you also understand that um, whenever something happens, there's always a reason. The reason is not there to punish you is actually there to teach you a lesson. 
And when you yep. learn the lesson, then you don't have to stay in that negativity anymore. That's what we are doing even now, yeah? We're trying to learn that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Okay. So you, other than that, you've... So now nothing phases you, like you still feel like you're all the time in that zone, kind of? No. Or things, no, things <laughs> I still didn't say that. <laughs> No, I'm just asking. No, I'm, it's, it's, it's like I have. So, if what it feels like is I, I know what to do now. I know what it is that I need to do in order to stay in that state of mind. Mm -hmm. And I still fall off. I still fall off the horse every okay. now and then. But then, when I fall off the horse now. I know that I've, I'm off the horse. Hey, I'm off the horse. So I would do something to get myself back on. Back on, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... I am it's still like human. intuition, you know? No, I would... It's like know. intuition, you know that, what you have to do? How do you know? Because you're watching what you do? So... um. I used to have this this um, this judgment that you know certain things are good, certain things are bad, and they don't mix. Whereas now I I understand that no that uh, yeah, um, there is no. So I have to listen to to the moment, to what it is that I feel like in that moment. And pay attention to that. There are times when I need to do something in that moment. Even though, um, like normally I won't do it. But so what I learned is when I listen to what's in the moment is right for me to do. Even though I may feel uncomfortable doing it, I would like when I trust that, then um, I would be able to stay in that state of peace and joy much um, easier than when I um, try to be good. Do you understand what I'm saying? so it's becoming like a gray area for you there's no all good or all bad like is that what you're kind of saying um hmm. similar like that yeah. Similar. Because that's right. also a program, yeah, that we have been taught that this is good and this is bad. Yeah. That's another yeah. program we have to get rid of. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what judgment comes to. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I think I think the, the most important thing is really to live from your heart. Yeah. I mean, that's more important than um, trying to be good all the time. But even in your heart, like you said, you can still feel fear and discomfort. Like so you... my computer, yes. my, uh, you know, internet was un unstable, so I miss all the explanation. Oh, the last bit. I didn't hear. We were just talking. Huh? We were just talking about. Oh. I was asking Winnie if uh, she always can stay in that thing, and she said no, she can fall off sometimes. Yeah, that's what I mean. How to? How do you know how to stay 
in that. And and the last what I've heard that you said that you uh right before you knew where is good, where is bad, and now I don't miss here and so what I what I said is really um be in the moment. So just be in my heart. So what I've noticed is when I'm in my heart and when I am in the moment, rather than being in my head, then it's much easier for me to stay um, in this in the state of peace and joy. There's another thin line between expectation and uh, anticipation of doing something or, or achieving something, right? It's still a fine line because sometimes when we go to do something or we join something with expectation and then it doesn't happen that way, we get so disappointed and that brings up very bad emotions within us. And yet we have to have some anticipation of how we want to be, or you see, understanding what I'm saying? It's like a thin line. You can be either this way or that way. And even anticipation is kind of like an expectation. Like if you're aiming to get from A to B, you have to plan it, right? Yeah, but things yeah, don't it, always work out that way, the way you yeah, plan. It usually does not work out. Yeah. So yeah. Be okay with not working out. That's the thing. Yeah. Yes. Make a plan. Out. Sure. Make a plan. Um, but once you've made the plan, then once you start to follow the plan, though, is don't um, get hung up on it. Yeah. Don't, don't get hung up on what the plan is but be in the moment no. No. and just, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because, you know, um, unless you make a plan that's only involve you and nobody else, because when someone else is involved, then you can't plan how other people play with you. <laughs> right. It's true. You can you can only plan for yourself. You can't play like and if it involves somebody else, then you just have to let go and just yeah. yeah. I have, uh, we had Cornelius at three o'clock, and my appointments I usually have on two, so I changed my appointment to one o'clock. But then Wheeltrans never gave me the right to get back before three. So it was at three o'clock that they picked me up. So, and I had to call Tatiana to say, please do some recording because I'm in transit. Mm -hmm. So like you said, you have to change, be ready to change your plan. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, found, I found that acceptance was, is sort of a, not an easy concept to grasp either. No. Being no. accepting of, of things is really hard. It is. Yeah. That that's when you have to become neutral, I think. Yeah. You, know, you have to find that neutral ground to say it doesn't matter to you personally. It's not in your real environment, like whatever is happening in the world. It's not today, right now, affecting you. Just mm -hmm. live in that moment. Don't think about the future or the past. That's hard too. <laughs> So, None of this is that, easy, by the to me that, anyway. That is, yeah, that is where I try to be. Yeah, most of the time. That's what I'm talking to myself all the time when I drone to watch news. I'm talking to myself. It's not about you. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I keep talking to my ego. Ego. I love you. I love you. Go away. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Go away. Be alone. <laughs> uh, the the other the other thing that I want to mention about um, that I think would be a shortcut or well not a shortcut would would make it easier is to 
really choose to love yourself. Okay. It's really, yeah, this is, is, we expect so many things because we all want love. So we, we think that, okay, if this happens, if this person say this to me, if they do this for me, then they love me. We have all these, these um, mind okay. beats that if this happens, then I'm loved. Or if that happened, then I'm loved. Is, is just, to, um, just to embrace love. Just to love yourself so much that you don't, that you understand that love can't come from outside. It, it's, it's something that you have to feel within yourself and choose to feel that. And it's not, it's not easy. I, I, I know that. It's not easy. However, it's not easy because we have been trained to love ourselves only if we're good. And the definition of good depends on your family environment. So, you know, it's, that needs to go... Well, I, I shouldn't say that needs to go out the window, but I'm saying that if you really want to explore what love is, you, um, explore it by letting go of that and simply just love yourself. Love yourself. Without conditions, yeah. Without conditions. No matter what you look like, no matter how much money you have or you don't have, no matter what you um, feel or don't feel, just is to simply choose that love for yourself and continue choosing it over and over again until it becomes natural. Uh. It may not feel natural at first. And keep choosing it until it becomes natural because um yeah we it's it's unfortunate that we have so many conditions on love especially loving ourselves <laughs> so. yeah because we have not experienced that kind of love it's uh, it's like a new concept for us. Yeah, I I understand that now. I didn't know what joy is until yeah. I experience it. Exactly. See, and that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. yeah. So it's good that you shared that with us. Yeah. So yeah. lovely. Yeah. It made us all feel like we would, we are in there with you. Yeah. So choose that love for yourself. And you know, it's we love we love our children so easily. So just think of yourself as your first child. You're your first child. Yeah, You're, we are our own first child. Yep, we we actually are our first child. So. And child who understand us completely yeah. and be with us forever. <laughs> Doesn't scold it. <laughs> scold <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> yes. Most of the time, maybe. <laughs> and to forgive ourselves. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, we, we do feel hurt when kids do something and we forgive them. Because we still love them. Yeah. That's that's hard, but that we have to do that same thing to ourselves too. Yeah. So can, so remember you are your first child. We can make mistakes and yep. still have to and, love them. And we would still choose to love them. So why don't we choose to love ourselves when we make yeah. mistakes? Yeah, exactly. Yep.
that's all Good. I have to share for tonight. Lovely, lovely subject. I love this. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I do want to um, assist all of you in a with a meditation. Yep, please. Yeah. And, Thank you. And to do some release and also to experience what love and bliss, like joy, like love is. The best I would love to. Are we going to do that now? We are going to do that right now. Wow, that's wonderful. Okay. <laughs>